Hello people, this is Iron Man Fan 147 and I'm uh, showing you how to make a, uh, a muzzle flash on a gun. So pretty much, if you don't know what I mean, I mean like when I fire you can see the the fire in the front of the gun going off in the expanding gases pushing the bullet so it looks kind of real. So um, I think I'm going to show you how to do that because well, um, it's kind of requested, I guess. Not really requested because I offered, but someone didn't know how to do that, so I offered if they wanted to know how to do it. So, um, well, here it is. It's pretty much this is not my AR, it's downloaded from YouTube, Jimmy. God, I, I'm. I heart him for all these models. I mean, God, they're like. wonderfully. Like, download, like. I mean, they download with all these, like, lines all over the place, so I do just copy it, the face select, get all these little random vertices all over the place. But anyways, pretty much this is what it looks like. Nothing's parented yet. Nothing at all. So first, I'm going to add a sound to the gun, just so you could see it. I'll try not to make the audio lag, because that really sucks, and you can't even tell what's going on. So I'll give it, like, a sound... Just in case you don't know how to load sound, you do this thing and you go to sound. It says, if you don't have any sounds, it says to go to F10. Uh, I'll do that, and I'll go to this tab right here where it says sound block buttons, the little blue wave thing. And it says blender sound block, and there's two little arrows inside of a box here. It says browsers, browse existing choices, or add news, or adds news. Alright, so I'll click that, and then it says open new. And it's, this should come up. You know, pretty much, you have to have WAV files, though. That's a certain kind of audio file. So, I don't know if I have it. No. This is my new folder, because my other, I got like a virus on it. I didn't lose anything. It's just, my CDs that I started to put stuff on were corrupted. So I can't, like, use them on this computer, but I can use them on another one. So it, it's weird like that. Go to my C drive, I'll go to users and then to mine, because all my sounds are on mine. So I can still get to all my stuff, like, it, it's not a bad virus. I was kind of scared it might do something else, but... And desktop, it's in my desktop, these are all friggin' folders on my desktop. Alright, um, sounds. Look for Halo AR sound FX, there it is. So pretty much it's just a short little thing. It's like half a second long, so I'll play it. That's all it is. It's just that. However, I'm going to change the play stop to loop stop. So it keeps on repeating itself. I'll change always to mouse and left button. So whenever I press the left button and hold it, it will keep on playing until I let go of it, which will be now. So. Terminator theme. Yeah. So pretty much I'll get my sound in if you didn't know that, but alright now for the muzzle flash. I'll hit add space space add mesh and plane. I'm gonna go on click three I like the five. It's like orthopedic view or something, I don't know. Pretty much move it ninety degrees and then put it right in front of the gun like that. See, there's my gun, and then there's the plane. Go to camera, I'll move it over. Go to top view, make sure it's alright. I always tilt my gun one notch to the side by holding control, like that. Because it just looks weird like that for some reason. I like it better kind of t tilted like that. So I'll look at this, make sure it's right in front of the gun. Side it down just a little bit like that. So it's just like that. I'll parent that straight to the gun, so any IPS I have on the gun, that thing will follow it. I'll click on that, I'll hit tab, U, unwrap. I just made it white, that's because they just put texture on it, but there's no texture loaded onto it. So I'll go over here, split the area that's like, wait until you get these little double arrows right where my mouse is, right here. And then, um, right click and split area, and then you should be able to drag this over and then click. And you'll get this extra window, and then you just um, change 3D view to UV image editor. If they're not highlighted, if this thing is just like this, 
and not highlight highlight them by pressing A, so it turns yellow over here. The box. Put image. Open an image. I got this image from Google. It's just an explosion with a black background. The ex the fire that you have has to be a black background, or else this won't work. So I'll go to sounds again. Let's go back. It's easier. I'll look for my. Uh, it would be in my be in my documents. Now I go to game textures. I swear I saved it, so it's like a back background explosion. That's why I named it as. Explosion, there you are. So this is what I got right here. Notice there's a black background. That's what it will look like. It has to be like that. It has to have black in the background because what we're going to do is we're going to remove all that black and make it so it fades into the background. So we'll go over here and check it out. I think that looks pretty cool. That looks right. It's just an explosion texture. However, it's like right there. So I can press B. Why am I not seeing that? That's weird. Oh, let's click it. Give it let's go color. Text face, shadeless. Add new. Yeah, like that. So now you can see it. See, it looks like that. So, I'll hit tab. You have to be in tab, and you have to either hit F9 or go to the editing tab right down here. And over here, it has to be in edit mode. See, it won't show up. If I hit tab again, that doesn't show up down here. Hit tab. You're going to look for text face. If it, it has to be in edit mode, or else you will not find text face, UV calculation, and multi. You have to go to text face and find where it says add under there. So I'll click add. And look at what that did. That just made all the black on it invisible. All the darkest places turn, like, lighter. So now it kind of looks like that. Isn't that cool? I, I, that's like, this is like perfect for glass and stuff too. Don't even worry about the alpha stuff for glass, unless you're like using GLSL, then you want to worry about But Um, okay. So, I'll press P, and you can see that, it looks fine. So, I'm going to go to frame 1, I'll hit I, rotation, I'll go to frame 2, I'll move it a little bit on the Y axis, since that's the way it's facing, I'll move it like that. I rotation, move it again, like that, I rotation, do this until I get to frame 5, or, move it again, go to frame 5, frame 5 should be your last one, and I'll go over here into the logic tab, I'll add, add, and add, connect those all, I'll change always to, or no, I'll leave always as is, and I'll change motion to um, vis visibility and I'll put I'll deselect visible so now when I press P you should not see it and now I'll hit add add and add again I'll change always to mouse and left button I'll drag these together I'll go to visibility again and select visible so now when I click it it should be visible now this first one you set up always make that true. Activate the true level triggering, which is this little dot 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 thing. Kind of looks like a line under always the first one to the left. So now I'll press it. Now I can press the left button or the left button on the mouse, and it should be visible. Once I let go of it, it should be invisible again, or not. Oh yeah, I got I gotta activate that for the mouse too. So. So it looks like that. Alright, I'll add, add, and add again. I'll change motion to, oops, what the, I'll change motion to IPO, and set it to frame 1 to frame 5, and put this one on loop stop, change play to loop stop, we'll connect these all, and just leave that at always, it doesn't matter. I guess just, I guess you could put in true level triggering, but now, when I press P, it's always moving, but when I press the left button on the mouse, it looks... You can see it. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, yeah. You can also mess around with that, like, say you had the plasma rifle, you just gotta make it go up, down, up, down, up, down when it's firing. So, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. It's not that hard, but, um, yeah, that's how you do it. So I hope this helped you, and, uh, I'll see ya. Thanks for watching.